that it has the right certifications. It's supporting all of the digital sovereignty rights all over the world. This summer, we launched a new data center design that is zero waste and 100% renewable energy. It's so exciting to see this. This is going to roll out in Sweden, and it's going to spread throughout every region uh, of uh, Azure. Edge computing requires processing data closest to its source. The Azure Stack portfolio of products can meet all of your edge computing needs. It delivers Azure services, such as serverless computing with Azure Functions, and Azure Kubernetes Engine to simplify Kubernetes deployment and management. There are over 150 hyperconverged solutions offered from 20 hardware providers. Azure Stack Edge systems are Azure managed appliances that bring compute, storage, and intelligence to any edge. They're already using Azure IoT to build, in fact, sanitization solutions for hospitals. They're, in fact, going to use Azure Sphere going forward for even better detection and control loop. Uh, we have uh, Johnson Controls fill, building out a complete new badge solution for smart buildings that uses facial recognition and some of the cognitive capabilities in Azure IoT with a container on the edge, as well as Hong Kong Stock Exchange, which is obviously running uh, regulated workloads all on Azure Stack at the edge, Azure Arc. Azure Arc really marks the beginning of this new era of hybrid computing where there is a control plane built for multi-cloud, multi-edge. Here's my IT dashboard. Now, I'm responsible for managing a heterogeneous environment with increasing system sprawl and data silos. This time, the PostgreSQL hyperscale database that's powering my mobile banking applications is reaching a CPU limit. I can add instances to uh, power that application. I can even scale to over 3,000 nodes if needed. Back in my IT dashboard, I see that B core count increased, the CPU limit is resolved, and I was able to scale out just as I do in Azure with no application downtime to AWS. This is a first, again, this time for the industry. So as you can see, Azure Arc unifies my operations, enabling consistency and agility across all of my data center. Azure Synapse changes the game around analytics. The purpose of this demo, please imagine that I'm a product manager at a gaming company. We've recently launched a new mobile game, and I'd like to analyze our telemetry to significantly enhance user engagement. In addition to empowering users to gain quick access and insights across all of their data, what you see on the screen is our analytics application that's powered by Azure Synapse. Now to essentially analyze end user engagement, I need access to a variety of data, including the current engagement times, in-game click streams, application metrics, and telemetry data from our device partners. But the total playing time is less than 20% of the average playing time filtered by user demographics and add-on feature names. Now, this may sound like a simple query, but it's actually quite complex because we're accessing and joining data across multiple very large disparate data sources. Scenes is the intelligent distributed query optimizer of Synapse is executing this query across hundreds of nodes in a fault-tolerant manner. Wow, it just took nine seconds to execute this complex query against a petabyte scale data set. And the same query against Google's BigQuery. Now, what I'm doing here is running the exact same query against the exact same data set running in Google's BigQuery. It took a whopping 11 minutes. So for this complicated query, Synapse is 75 times faster than Google's BigQuery. As you can see, even with this fewer user set, Synapse, based on the query response times, is three times faster than Amazon's Redshift and five times faster than Google's BigQuery. As you see on the screen, while Synapse continues to do great, we've hit the limits with both Amazon's Redshift and Google's BigQuery. Redshift starts queuing requests at around 100, resulting in significantly increased query response time and a vastly degraded end user experience. Well, as I can see on stage, Synapse is easily able to handle 10,000 concurrent users. What you're seeing on the screen is it's working flawlessly with 10,000 concurrent queries operating on the system. See on the screen, we've deeply integrated Synapse with Power BI, making them the best combination in the industry. For example, you can build Power BI reports and enterprise-grade semantic models right from within the Synapse's workspace. 
With this level of deep integration between Power BI and Synapse, business users can gain insights that they need to make their data-driven decisions in a timely manner. As you saw, the response times was near instantaneous, and I got my predictive analytics within Synapse. Synapse makes AI and ML really simple for our data professionals. You see Spotify, for example, using cognitive services uh, to change how they do podcasts. In fact, you can edit a podcast by just editing the text because of this text-to-speech capability. You have the Atlantic taking 160 years worth of their content, using Azure Search, turning it into a knowledge base. You have nationwide insurance using the BOT framework to build their customer-facing uh, conversational agent. ASOS, a fashion retailer and a fashion brand, is using the decision system and Azure ML to build their recommendation engine that's improving their yield. DARPA had a challenge, a subterranean uh, challenge, and Carnegie Mellon University, along with Oregon State, uh, were the ones who won this championship using uh, the Azure Autonomous Systems. And uh, it was pre pretty fascinating. There was a mine in Pennsylvania uh, where you had to have this autonomous system go find objects. In fact, the win they won because they found two times the number of objects uh, compared to their competition. And they were able to find objects within 20 centimeter distance of where they were located, right? This is just a regular quartz glass. And using femto lasers, we were able to etch into this glass the entire Superman movie. Boiled it, we baked it, uh, we shook it around, uh, we tried to scratch it with wool, uh, and we still have the Superman movie. And so that's the frontier of new storage systems, and we really are really excited about you know, working. It's, so, it's a game changer for anyone who struggles on weekends to create your own dev environments. This is a godsend, because you now can go to Visual Studio Online, you can get your entire environment provisioned for you with all its dependencies right there, just on a browser on any machine. That captures the entire chatbot experience as well as the AI that backs it. And on the left hand side, something called tracing, which makes it easy for you to actually watch how your customer interacts with that chatbot. So if I go run through the same set of steps as I was doing before, we can see that on the right hand side of the screen, the Power Virtual Agent chatbot will automatically start showing all the different steps as they run through. And if I zoom in here, we can see all the different user responses that I offered. And if I go back out, we can see that's exactly what the customer sees in their chat experience as well. Power Automate has over 275 different connectors, which make it possible to connect to all your different business applications right out of the box. So when I provide my email address, that actually is going to that backend system and looking up the next best time for me to have an appointment and to send a True Green agent out. And for this next part, when I confirm that I want to have this appointment, we can see that it's using Power Automate again. We take an input from the virtual agent for the email for the user, paste that in there. I can then uh, go click search after I do that, and that will, actually, uh, that will actually make it so that I can go search that particular record in that contact management system. And that makes it possible so the customer has a complete end-to-end -end experience with TrueGreen, all integrated and highly automated. And we can see inside that same web-based Power Automate visual designer, all the steps I just recorded are visible. And if I ex expand each of these individual steps, we can see the search box, the text command, all of that information is captured in a completely automated way that allows me to very easily record this information in that contact management system. Over over it, I get a topic card. Clicking in brings me to an AI-generated knowledge network that pulls together experts on the topic as well as content like presentations, videos, and conversations, all curated for me in this pattern map. This is a great way to ramp up new team members or share knowledge across an organization. Uh, we will have a... Understandably, there's a lot of background noise when you're on site. However, Microsoft Stream's new voice enhancement feature uses AI to drop out that background noise so I can focus just on what's being said. Let's listen to the difference with this feature on. Perfect's rolling out shortly, but in the meantime, uh, we, we've come up with a workaround. Using the new templates in, in Whiteboard, we're able to easily organize our thoughts, 
assign tasks, and you can even thumbs up ideas that you agree with. But here, let me show you one of my favorite features. So here's an image of a floor plan. I'm going to select it, hit the ink grab tool, and using AI, it's going to convert this into digital ink. So I can come in and edit it as if I had drawn this directly into the whiteboard myself. It detects the edges of the whiteboard and zooms in. But the real magic is that it also detects him and makes him transparent. So when he walks in front to write something on the board, all of us online are able to see right through him to the content. Here we see the same table on my mobile phone. Now notice there's some missing data here. I'm going to add that in. Now look at the PowerPoint and watch as it is instantly updated. St. Luke's University Health Network, and in particular Microsoft Teams, is allowing us to reduce our administrative tasks, to organize our patient care, and to collaborate with teleconferencing and file sharing. But that could be especially challenging when you have 15,000 people spread across 10 different hospitals like they are at St. Luke's. They can stay connected through chat, audio clips, or even video right from their phone. They could even use the smart camera to take a photo of something like a patient's skin condition. They can mark up the image right in Teams so the care team knows exactly what to follow up on. They can flag the message as urgent so that the right specialist who might be miles away at a different hospital site can respond at the right time. Now the best part is that the image is not stored on the personal device. Rather, it stays on the secure M365 cloud, which enables the care team's HIPAA compliance. Develop their own patient experience app. The app helps to gather and provide feedback to doctors during their rounds. Right from their phones, clinicians can select the doctor they're shadowing. And then right in the app, they can score the patient and provider interactions. They can even input qualitative feedback around topics like provider duties and get an individual summary of the feedback they just shared and an overall score. Now, the data from this assessment and across all the assessments are flowed into a Power BI dashboard using Power Automate and improve quality across the entire network of hospitals. Now, a core part of St. Luke's mission to improve patient care is ensuring that the full context of a patient's care history including those notes outside the health record, naturally follows them to every interaction they have. They can then click on a patient and get up-to-date information from the EHR, like medications. They can then improve those critical patient data handoffs by inputting notes around care logistics, in this case, a patient needing to fast prior to procedure in the morning. Patient-provider video collaboration can help networks like St. Luke's reach even more people. Here, an administrator can access the scheduling view of clinicians in the care team, they could book a consultation by inputting relevant notes, like meeting notes and consult type. Once done, they just click send. At that point, the patient receives an email with a customization and Teams meeting link to join. The best thing is they don't even need a Teams account to participate. They just need a web browser and they can join at one click. The doctor can turn on a customized background so they can hide any sensitive patient data behind them. And once they're in the meeting, they can engage with a patient who may be at home or they may be at a different hospital site altogether. Hi, David. We're going to begin by sharing your test results. Teams is a hub that adapts to any industry, whether you're in retail, manufacturing, or financial services. It unifies everything your organization needs to communicate, collaborate, and move your business forward. Today, we release a new browser update that is going to address three big things that we've been wanting to do to get in there and be super competitive. First is we now release separate from the operating system, so we ship at internet scale. Every four to six weeks, we're doing innovation. Second is we're going to run now on all platforms that you have in your company, iOS, Android, Mac, Win 7. And last and most important is about a year ago, we moved to the Chromium browser. Here on the left side of the screen, you'll see the old Edge, and on the right, you see the new Microsoft Edge. We are over twice as fast. We now rival Chrome in terms of performance for rendering web pages. The first personalized homepage that is unique for everyone that speeds you to what you want to get done. And what's going on in the covers here is I'm logged into my Azure directory, so the system knows about me, and it knows about the Microsoft graph. So I get specialized links uh, and data for me. So the speed to get to action from the page is dramatic, and only we can do this at Microsoft because of the graph in Azure. And when I click on it, I get a separate IE instance. But what you see is it's actually inside of Edge. 
So now you only have to have one browser to manage your entire estate. That's a massive time savings, massive management savings. There are a lot of trackers and cookies that get dropped on the machine. So in this side, for example, I go to weather.com. And what you'll see is that over 66 trackers are loaded onto my PC from this site from Ravage Surfing. But what you see below is we've blocked 62 of them. And part of that is because we are taking a new, more protective stance to help you on the web. So what you see here, this is the configuration page, which you don't have to go to, but we give you three options now. Basic, which is how the web works. Strict, which is we really control all tracking and we, you know, we reduce personalization. Or balance. Balance is what we do by default. This is more protective than you get than any other browser. So if you want to really have your data and your privacy secure, you're going to want to go with Microsoft Edge. And what I'm able to do now is, as I surf, I can kind of drag and drop things over. I can add whole pages. It's kind of like a scratch pad. And so here I go to different Amazon, I go to Best Buy, and I pull in the computers I'm looking to see. Not only do the pictures come over, but all the metadata comes over. So now you've got it in one place. You don't have to email these things around in links. And then when I want to share it, with one click I can come in and I can just share that. I can say export to Excel, and in the back end automatically we gather all the data from those web pages and drop it into Excel. Yeah. How cool is that? And look at that. This is all live data. You get, you've got reviews, you've got ratings, you've got prices. These are powerful tools to harness knowledge out of the web. Now when I'm looking for sales of the new Surface laptops we launched a few weeks ago, I can say give me the Power BI for monthly sales overview, and I get it right there. I don't know the URL, I get the link, and if I want to look at all of the other data around there, I have one click link and I can pull up all the Power, Power BI dashboards. So I'm going to do a trip to England and I want to meet with Sophia. I type in Sophia and I get this real beautiful contact card. Now what you don't sort of know that happened is in the background, the graph knew, oh, Sophia is probably most relevant for me because of emails we exchanged. So you would each get a different Sophia in your company. But what I want to do now is I want to do something more complex. I know I'm meeting with Sophia who's in engineering. So I can just add to my query, hey, Sophia in engineering, and then I get to Sophia in engineering, but I'm actually traveling to London, so I want the Sophia that's in London. So I can just use natural language, and it'll find the Sophia that's most relevant to me. These maps that are in your corporate servers, you can now get one link, and I can turn around and find out where we're going to meet, and it'll help me save time as I get to London. And I can also use that on my phone. So with your Azure Active Directory, you logged into your iPhone or Android phone, you can now get access to all those company resources right off your phone. And best of all, if I want to prepare for the meeting, I can come in and look at the files that she shared with me. So I don't have to go and search my email and say, hey, what were those files? They're all right there with one click of a button. But you can search all of your other content in there, like Box and SAP and Salesforce and ServiceNow. In fact, today I'm pleased to announce that over 100 connectors are coming online that'll help you be able to get access to all of this great content. Go up and download it now if you want to have the best and most private browsing experience. Our final version is coming January 15th in over 90 languages. And for IT professionals, we're going to put this into the Fast Track program. So we're going to help you make all the deployments easy. And there'll be sessions later today to talk to you about it. And all your sites will automatically work, including your legacy sites and IE11. They'll work automatically. But if they don't, you let us know and we'll fix them for free with a new app Assure.